Hi, I'm Claire from Plant Passion and today I'm going to talk to you about splitting dahlia tubers. We propagate our dahlias from tubers and we, if we have good plants that we know have been healthy one year, we want to make sure we get more of that variety for the next year. Uh, and one of the easiest ways to do that is to split the tubers. Now it's the beginning of May here in Surrey in the UK uh, and uh, we had a very harsh winter so we are a couple of weeks behind where we normally are but on this wonderful dahlia tuber here we're just starting uh, to get eyes. These are the growth points uh, where um, new leaves are going to shoot from and we want to make sure when we split up our dahlia that we have one or more eyes on each of the parts of the tuber that we split up. Now here in the UK, um, in Surrey, our last frost date, our last guaranteed frost date uh, is towards the end of May. Um, and we um, don't plant these straight into the field, the tubers, we pot them up. Uh, we pot them up uh, and keep them under cover in the polytunnel for two or three weeks. Uh, and they give us nice shoots and then we can plant them into the ground. Now that's a lot of work, but what we find is that it gives us stronger plants and that the slugs, which are a real problem here, don't get the shoots when they just come straight through the ground. So this is a Rip City tuber, and as you can see, it's quite a big one. Uh, it wouldn't fit in one of these pots that we've got here. So we're gonna split it up and we're gonna see how many pieces we can get it into uh, and get, that, get it potted up um, so that it can be sitting here under protection in the polytunnel for the next three or four weeks. Uh, and then we'll plant it out the last week of May or the first week of June. So um, these, were the, these three here were the shoots that, had, uh, that, that were branches last year that had flowers coming from, um, but it's created more tubers all the way around. So we're gonna take a, a, a saw. Um, some varieties you can get away with just a cutting knife, but a saw is a good one. And we're gonna work out how many we can split it into. So you can see I've now taken out uh, a piece of the tuber. It's got two lovely eyes on it and it's got lots of these fat tuber bits here. Uh, you can see we've also managed to cut off some of these. Now if these had an eye at the top, if they had one of these shoots here, then we could plant that up on its own, but we haven't on this one. Uh, as long as the, the uh, tuber is firm, uh, it's healthy. Um, but we don't use too many small ones here because we have a shorter growing season than a lot of people. We only have from, from May into October. Um, and so the smaller ones will take a lot longer to get into flower. Whereas this one, if we pot it up, will be flowering by the end of July. You can see from one tuber here, we can probably get five or six bits. and some varieties are a lot easier to split than others. Uh, and here you can see underneath, I've uncovered some other eyes. So uh, we are gonna get quite a few from this one. And the key points are that as long as it's got eyes and tubers attached to the stem, then that will be a healthy tuber. Um, you can feel how firm they are. There's no rot or anything like that. So this will make uh, a lovely, healthy plant uh, and it will actually grow a tuber that's about the size of how we started earlier on. Uh, we're always amazed that we start off with um, tubers that will fit into two litre plant pots and by the time we take them out, uh, they're, they're really huge size. Um,
So we've now got to the point where from one tuba, we've got five lovely healthy tubers. Uh, and we're going to pop those up and uh, let them grow on for a couple of weeks in here. When you plant them up, you just want to make sure um, that uh, the, you can see the top of the uh, stem. That's why we wait for the eyes to appear uh, and make sure the roots are down in the pot. So we can just see the eye, the eye appearing here and give that a good water. Uh, and we'll have a lovely healthy plant.